What is going on, Internet? Lou here, and this is the Redemption ROM 1.0.5 changelog video. And uh, before we get into the actual uh, changes in the new uh, ROM release, I want to remind you guys, if you are not subscribed to me here on YouTube, please do so. Um, it will give you guys kind of the latest and, and greatest of what's going on with all of my Android projects. And I do have a whole host of Linux uh, tutorials and reviews, and uh, I even have a hardware review on a new laptop that I just got uh, coming down the pipeline very shortly. So uh, please subscribe to me here on YouTube. Also, follow me on Twitter uh, at Oh Hey It's Lou. You can keep up with all the new stuff that's going on uh, with my projects as well as kind of my general just thoughts and opinions on whatever. Uh, so follow me there on Twitter. And uh, anyway, so. Uh, Redemption ROM 1.0.5. Uh, let's head over to Roots Wiki uh, where Redemption ROM lives and we'll take a look at what's going on with uh, the new release. Okay. So if we come down over here to the change log, Defiant version 2 kernel. So I've been talking about the next revision to my Defiant kernel and I finally have it done. Um, I'm kind of going to be releasing this in a unique way. Uh, as a thank you to all of you guys that use Redemption ROM, I'm going to be releasing this to you before I release it to anybody else. Um, just to say thank you for supporting me, for just kind of being active in, in the ROM thread, and um, just to say thank you. So, Defiant version 2. Now, this kernel, I decided not to make it the default kernel um, on Redemption ROM only reason being because I actually would prefer it being the default kernel because I, I feel it's fantastic. Uh, the responsiveness is amazing. Really, really responsive. Very, very smooth. I'm extremely happy with this. Um, I really feel that it's definitely a marked improvement from version 1 and I think you'll all be happy as well. I didn't make it uh, a, you know, uh, the default kernel because I want to try to give you guys the the option rather than kind of forcing something on you even though I believe it's very good um, so I'm gonna leave the stock kernel there by default um, the defiant kernel version 2 after you install the ROM you can find it on your SD card in the redemption folder okay so um, directly after install if you know for sure you want to use the kernel um, just install the ROM once that gets done in recovery select uh, install a zip from um, your SD card uh, scroll down to the redemption folder and um, just flash the kernel right away and you know right before you make your first boot and you'll be good to go okay um, I didn't make a uh, again update to the kernel thread here in Roots Wiki mainly because again I'm just releasing it to the redemption ROM users first um, but I did have I do have rather a really basic text file to show some of the things that I've done um, with Defiant version 2 and we've got an overclocked GPU. Um, the GPU's severely under underused on this particular device. And um, we've got a really good GPU in the Galaxy Nexus, and it's underutilized. So I've got it overclocked from 307 megahertz to 384 megahertz. I've also uh, removed more useless debugging entries. I reverted um, the optimized for size feature. This is known to cause some issues, um, although it does make a smaller kernel, um, it is known to cause some stability issues, and again, my main um, claim to fame, if you will, is stability, so I removed the optimize um, for size feature. I've got SIFS support, this is modular, by the way, um, also TUN is built in as well. I changed the governor from on-demand to interactive, and I've also did some more config optimizations uh, to the kernel as well. Um, it's using the latest OMAP source, um, so I really think that uh, Defiant version 2 is a step up from version 1, and I think you really enjoy it. I highly recommend using it as the default kernel from here on out on Redemption ROM. However, I will keep the stock kernel for those of you um, who you know aren't really interested in, in trying alternate uh, alternative kernels. Um, there we go. So Defiant version 2 is now available, and again is recommended. I review. I removed volume rocker wake by default. Um, I particularly like this feature, but there is a number of you that do not, and it's just easier for me to make a mod to, um, in, you know, to actually enable it as opposed to, you know, making the mod to disable it. Um, and it's something feedback I get constantly. 
um, either on Twitter or in the ROM thread how, how to disable Volume Rocker Wake. So I hear you. Um, even though it's a feature I like, I will um, I'll revert back to, to how it was by default. And um, we'll always give you the option in the future if you want to enable it. I've merged all my bug fixes from the 1.0.4.1 patch into the 1.0.5 base. So all of those bug fixes that were um, present in that patch are now in 1.0.5 by default. So there you go. Um, screen rotation. I actually fixed it this time. Um, I found what was responsible for the screen rotation delay and um, I think that I've got it coded properly now so you'll see a marked improvement when you switch the uh, device from landscape to portrait and portrait to landscape. Um, I've added init D support for those of you that want to run um, your init scripts um, during boot up. You've got init D support now. I removed uh, Google Maps. It was just causing issues before. Um, so you can download this from the market. You shouldn't have any issues now um, with Google Maps aside from having to give it permission uh, to be able to run. That's how all the new Google Map uh, applications are, are starting to, uh, to work. So make sure you just allow uh, those permissions to be executed and you'll be fine. I removed the OI file manager and I added ES File Explorer. Um, I'm a big fan of ES File Explorer. I've used it now for years, literally. Um, ever since I had my incredible ROMs, I've been using ES File Explorer. Um, it's themable, which is cool. Um, it has a lot more options as far as, you know, you've got a root explorer on there. Um, you've got an application manager, so you can back up applications using uh, ES File Manager. Um, you can mount the system as read-write. Uh, really, really nice, all in the free version. A ton more options, a lot more functionality in ES File Explorer. So I took out the old one, I added in ES File Explorer. I think you'll be happy with it. Uh, it's really, really good. I've also inst uh, installed it in the data app directory. So if it's something you don't like, you can easily install it, uh, uninstall it rather. So there you go. I updated Android Terminal to the latest market version. And I also removed system um, bug reporting. Some of you reported that on your SD card there was a folder that was created called um, bug reports and that isn't anything malicious. It's actually built into AOSP um, although it really is not really going to serve any purpose to the average normal user so I went ahead and disabled that uh, so you shouldn't have any more of those um, bug reports folders on your SD card. Um, now, because I get this question all the time and the thread ends up getting littered with it, do I have to wipe um, from if I'm using Redemption ROM version whatever to the newest version. Here's my answer. I always suggest wiping. Okay, For those of you that think it's too much work to set up your phone again, that's fine. It's your phone. You install this however you want. I personally, um, not only do I spend all the time to make this ROM and these kernels, I wipe in between all my testing as well. So if you think, you know, once a week or so wiping your device is a lot of work, imagine me who's actually testing this on my own hardware before you get it. I'm formatting my, my device and installing this ROM, I don't know, a dozen times before it actually even gets to you. And then maybe it, st it stays on my phone for a couple of days and I start testing my new revision right away. So trust me, if anyone is wiping their phone, um, almost on a daily basis, it's me. So I suggest wiping your device. Um, because the amount of things that change from version to version, I always suggest a clean system. It eliminates bugs and, you know, uh, again, a lot of times people who are listing bugs, I'll ask them, have you wiped your system? Was it a clean install? You know, no it wasn't. Well, you know, go ahead and wipe your system and then come back and report it and tell me if you have any issues. Again, why is that? Well, stuff can you know, carry over. Bugs can carry over from one ROM to the next, even if it's the same ROM. So, you know, I'm always going to suggest wiping uh, to answer that question. Um, if you decide that you want to or not, that's fine. Now, if I make just a patch, you know, patches are a different story. You know, if it's just a minor patch, you don't have to wipe anything, most likely just your Dalvik cache. Um, but if it's a full ROM, I'm always going to suggest to wipe your device. I mentioned this previously, but you can use a market application called AppBrain. AppBrain will keep a list of all your installed applications um, and then uh, once you install the new ROM and then install AppBrain from the market, it will um, 
and let you log in with your Google account. Once you log in, it'll have a whole list of all the applications you had previously installed. All you do is gotta just tap on them. It'll bring you to the straight to the market, so you don't have to actually go through and search the market manually for each one. And you can install fresh copies um, of those applications. Saves a lot of time, and you don't have to worry about uh, using something like Titanium and having any corrupt data being um, transferred over from a previous ROM or a previous install of Redemption ROM. Uh, so that's that guys. I'm pretty excited about this release. I feel like it's extremely smooth, very stable. Love the new kernel. Again, I highly recommend using it by default. I also want to go ahead and thank uh, Goo Inside Me um, for uh, providing me hosting for Redemption ROM, for my kernels and all my extra content. Um, with all of the craziness going on now with FileShare websites uh, being shut down, um, the other ones that are still open, their servers are just overloaded. Uh, they're really slow downloads, um, and eventually, who knows what's going to happen to those. So uh, I had to seek alternative hosting. I know a lot of people are actually moving over um, to this particular website. I think uh, CM has their gaps hosted here on this particular website, and uh, these guys had my account set up literally within a few minutes and had me ready to go. So just want to thank the uh, guys over here at... Uh, well, you know, at this website. And I um, want to thank them for hosting. Again, want to thank Roots Wiki for providing a home for Redemption ROM. And I want to thank all you guys. Once again, please follow me on Twitter at oh, hey, it's Lou. Make sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube. And um, as always, guys, you're awesome, and we will see you later.